more of this catfish, more of this tilapias, more of this chickens, turkeys and ducks, and more of our vegetables. That's gonna be the exciting activities that we can do for this year, 2024. It's very early in the morning, as early as 5 o'clock. We started our you know, hauling of these materials because we know that today is going to be a busy day for our hired uh, you know, carpenters. I've hired three persons to do the task and I'm so happy with the result because we have finally erected four posts for our goat house. And I'm so happy that this goat house is actually made possible despite of the surroundings, despite of the area. Because you know this area is actually soft. Underneath the ground is vast of water. That's why we have to make an effort to make our post strong. We used these uh, stones and even uh, good cement and sand and gravel for us to be able to erect good posts. We are also anticipating to you know, receive the goats which we ordered from the other provinces. Actually, I already have ordered four goats and they're so lovely and 
that would be the content in our future videos, the goats that we're gonna place in here. But of course, we have to make it sure that they will have a house to shelter them. Right here, we already have made, you know, a good base for this post. Well, it's hard already. It's very hard. Down there, we made it sure that this will be concretized by means of putting some uh, boulders, big stones. And I'm so confident that we are doing this right. And we have to insert here the frame for our post and then we will put some cement and then this is gonna be the elevation. You see that? This elevation is already very good and I'm sure that this will not anymore be reached by the water of the flood. So you guys will witness now the size of our catfish. They're growing so big. We are feeding this catfish every morning and we reduce the, the feeding of this commercial food because we know that they have a lot of food down there. They have worms to eat, they have snails, many. And this is very evident of the weight that we observe, weight of this catfish. Because last time we were able to catch big and one of the catfish can weigh even up to one kilo or more than. So these are good uh, development, feeding once a day and just allowing them to eat natural food down under. We have released in here 1,650 heads of tilapias. I don't know if the pond is good for them, uh, but I'm studying it. And I'm anticipating that they will grow and we can do some harvest two or three months from now. So I'm studying it because I know that though this is a small area, but this is deep up to this uh, level. And with that 1,650 heads of tilapia, I think uh, this is going to be good enough for them to grow. And this area will be good for our fish because this will be covered by vegetables. You know, the vegetables are creeping in, going to this direction. And I'm pretty sure that for this month of January or maybe next month of February, we can already see, you know, fruits of these vegetables hanging on the tree list. So I'm excited to harvest and then sell them to the market. So we will start with the five pullets. This is a rooster and this is a pure breed of the chamo and I even got one pair of turkey and this will be our good start for the upgrading of our breeding of chickens and also I'm very much delighted because our smallest chicken the bantam chicken are producing baby already it's only one baby that had been hatched and this chick is actually I, I suspect it's a male and uh, I, I, I hope that we can also buy another hen this uh, Sirama Bantam so that we can also produce them very quickly so it's very enjoyable here and if you can visit here of course you can you can do that when we're gonna open this for public but for the meantime we're developing the area and we are still on the process of you know putting some bridge and you know crossing 
the different types of cottages, these are the things that we have in mind. The breeding line of our chicken had been improved by infusing this kind of rooster. This is the Shamo chicken, the Dumpu line breed, and you will see that it's really very tall. And this is very heavy. It weighs around 6.5 kilos. But this is still very young. And as you can see, we already have the pullets of this kind of chicken. And this will help us, of course, in the future, uh, massively produce this uh, type of chicken. And you will see that this is very tall. Imagine if the average uh, height of an ordinary chicken would be here. This dumpu line is taller than the ordinary chicken. And I'm soliciting suggestions. What, what would be the best name for this rooster? What would be the best name? You can make some suggestions because I'm so happy about this. And this is quite costly compared to the chickens that we have here. This is the final cage of our rabbits because I will utilize the cage for our chickens and our ducks. And as soon as we're going to be able to complete the goat house, we will allocate some portion right there for our rabbits so that the people can just come and visit and learn from us what are the techniques and raising rabbits. These are actually very enjoyable that people can learn from us and people can experience um, the actual uh, setup of our cages. So that's going to be happening soon. I always make some declarations for me to inspire my spirit and to be inspired also about the things that will come in the future. So this is it. I just hope that God will be with us in this project. And I'm always praying in my heart that we can always realize the dreams that He has put in our hearts and in our minds. More of these goats, more of these catfish, more of these tilapias, more of these chickens, turkeys and ducks, and more of our vegetables. That's going to be the exciting activities that we can do for this year 2024. And I hope that we will become successful. And if you guys are interested about the things that I do, I will invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative and very challenging videos wherein we share our ups and downs, our success, victories, and even our defeats. That's why I'm encouraging you to subscribe and be with us in this big family of Dexterians. So see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World. Do not fight!